Ooh, welcome everyone to the Daily Juice Podcast on the Betting Pros Network. I'm your host, Sean Stacking the Money Green. Give me a follow on Twitter at Sean T. Green. And as always, Daily Juice is here brought to you by BetMGM. Use the promo code Juice. $10 bet turns into $200 in free bets if either team scores the touchdown good for college and pros. Restrictions apply. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna recap the slate. Then I got a uh a nice little mix of games here. One World Cup pick, one NBA pick, and uh, yeah, one action pick. Right, a little bit of everything. Like it. All right, here we go. Four and two. Up, uh, you know, about two units ish. Lose a little bit on the juice. All right, first up, USA draw. Boring. Soccer. Come on, man. Uh, unfortunately, that was a good penalty, but it seemed like a lot of bad, um, uh, not ideal refing in that game, got out to that nice one Oh lead and then blew it with the tie cut puts them in a tough spot. Uh, if they're going to advance cause you're going to have to play England pretty tight. Ideally it's going to come down. So they'll probably beat Iran as will Wales. And then it'll kind of come down to goal differential against England. The issue is assuming England beats us, which I'm not assuming that we'll see. We are the USA. Um, it could put them in a tough spot because then they'll be two and oh, they would have already locked up moving on. And then uh, they can kind of rest their starters against Wales. Won't have to play, you know, as tough as you would imagine. So that could help Wales in the goal differential. I don't, there's still hope, but uh, going to need a good, may, they're calling it a must draw game. I saw that on Twitter. So we'll see a uh, little, uh, come on, USA. Let's go. I want to, I want to see a few more games from this uh, USA soccer. All right, let's get to the uh, real football, aka football Americano. Kittle over 100 receiving yards. That was the only loss uh, on the Monday night game. Almost got there, uh, 84 yards. Had some early misses there. They couldn't sync up. It was raining a little harder. One was like drop, one was like a you know tight window throw. So man, was that close? But I I was on him having a massive game. I know some people got on uh, two touchdowns as well for Kittle. That catch that was pretty sweet. And shout out to the uh, Cardinals defender who clearly made a business decision. Uh, that was super helpful there. Kittle did get over his uh, three and a half receptions as well. That prop was actually minus one fifty. So maybe not, maybe probably like 1.6 uh, units up. He got four catches. Although that, that one was a little bit closer than it should have been. Again, had some early targets. Couldn't really convert. Of course, 49ers minus eight. That was uh, yeah, maybe a little bit of a sweat early, but second half, they just completely dominated the Arizona Cardinals. Christian McCaffrey over 36 and a half receiving yards. That was, that was super easy. Uh, seven catches, 67 yards. That was never in doubt. James Connor under 49 and a half rushing yards. Got a little uh, nerve wracking there. Cause he did have 11 carries in the first half had a uh, couple decent runs in the second half, ended up closing 14 for 42. So got close, but um, yeah, like I said there, I, I thought they'd be playing from behind and it would be tough for him to get the 49 and a half. So there we go. Four and two with the picks. Got some more picks coming up. You know what my pick is for a great EV bet? I'll tell you. Yeah, you can win an autographed Ken Walker jersey, completely free to enter, aka Maximum EV. Just go to youtube.com slash betting pros, hit subscribe, comment on this video, automatically enter to win a Kenneth Walker jersey from Pristine Auction. Remember, turn on those notifications. You don't want to miss when we DM you the good news that you have won the K9 Kenneth Walker jersey. All right, Daily World Cup pick of the day. Heading to the Australia France game, and I'll, and I'll try and pick the uh, the games that are a little bit later here. So you, this one's uh, I don't know what even they say kicking off at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. East, and I'll put it up top so you guys can get to it. Uh, maybe I'll do uh, some that are a couple days ahead depending on the time. But Australia versus France, I'm taking the under two and a half here. You can actually get plus odds on it at plus 120. Australia, they failed to score in uh, international games against Saudi Arabia, New Zealand. Those are teams you should be able to get goals against. Uh, last time they played, France beat them to nothing in France's last five games and in Australia's last five games. So their last 10 games combined, only one of those games got to over two and a half goals. Uh, so I, I'm really liking this. And again, it's early, but I do think. When in doubt, I'm going to be looking to lean to these unders if it's close. I, I obviously there's some situations, some teams that are really going to be set up for the over. But 
I do think there's something to the heat, the humidity. It, it's going to make it tough to really run out and, and light up a, uh, light up a scoreboard there. Although obviously England beat Iran six to two. So there's going to, there's going to be some talent uh, disparities that can create some over opportunities for sure. But I think in a game like this, where it's close enough and I wouldn't be su- surprised if France gets out to a two, nothing lead. I mean, the spread is one and a half goals and Australia kind of packs it in. And uh, you know, if they w- have any hope of possibly advancing, you can't get completely blown out. So I think they're going to do their best to protect the goal. If they go down early, which I would not be shocked if they do. Um, And then if they get out to a one, yeah, I, I think the under is, is the way to go here under two and a half. You got a nice little uh, wiggle room and you're getting plus odds on it. Plus one twenty. All right. Head over to the Harvard Lakers at Phoenix. You know, I'm taking the suns minus seven bet MGM. It's just super fun to bet against this Lakers team. And now is the time to hop back in betting against the Lakers. They've won three in a row, but all those, all three of those games have been at home. So this is kind of a decent price on the Lakers in my mind, because they're a little puffed up because they've won three in a row at home, beat the nets at home. You know, Anthony Davis is playing a little better, but they still haven't won a game on the road. They're five and five at home. Oh, and five on the road. It's just kind of a weird schedule quirk where they played five more uh, home games than road games. So it could be, it actually should be way worse. Like if they had played 10 road games and only five home games, uh, this could be a real disaster for the Lakers, even though it is uh, pretty much a big disaster already. Devin Booker uh, just uh, broke up with Kendall Jenner. This time they're serious guys. I do think maybe that gives him a little boost. Uh, yeah, anytime you could put away some off the court drama, we see Tom Brady post divorce. He's uh, he's going on a little bit of a roll as far as actual reasons that could impact the game. This Lakers team still can't hit a three to save their life. They're dead last in the three point percentage, 31 and a half percent Phoenix. Meanwhile, 43.1% in their last three games. They're shooting 39.4% at home. This is a this is a game where the Suns guys know they can pad their stats against a soft Lakers defense. So give me the Suns lay in seven. Hey, have you guys joined our uh, daily juice group in the sleeper app? You already probably play a uh, sleeper on fantasy, but now you can play over under on uh, player props, NBA, NFL, college football. They really have a massive portfolio that you can pick from. And, and it's very easy to sign up sleeper.com slash daily juice on your phone. Sign up over there. You get a hundred percent deposit bonus up to $100. This is great. If you're, if you live in a state where um, maybe you don't have access to some of these online sports books and you want to get down on some player props, this is a great way to go about it. You can win two X all the way up to 20 X just parlaying uh, some of your favorite props together. Again, you can do two player props all the way up to five, you go know, five and oh, you're going to hit uh 20 X, which is a pretty sweet cash. Not going to lie. A uh, lot of fun. And it's, it's like a big group chat. So uh, you can put in picks and you can just copy uh, someone else's picks. It makes it really easy to tail and you can even chat it up there. Talk a little trash. Uh, a lot of fun. Sleeper.com slash daily juice. My pick for the sleeper read. Give me Daniel Jones over 40 and a half rushing yards against the Cowboys Thursday on Thanksgiving. He had 79 yards last time they rushed uh, Saquon Barkley has nicknamed him vanilla Vic. How are you going to fade vanilla Vic on Thanksgiving? And, and you, I don't know if you saw the news, Wendell Robinson is down. Like they just have no, like really just nothing going on uh, as far as skill players. It's just him and Barkley. I, I think they're going to need to run Daniel Jones just to produce some sort of offense. So he doesn't even have to be super efficient. Cause I think he's going to get at least 10 carries probably five or six design ones. And then um, a few, you know, scrambles where he drops back and no one's open because they don't have any receivers. So give me Daniel Jones over 40 and a half rushing yards. Last pick of the night. Give me Bowling Green plus seven versus Ohio over on DraftKings. I mean, are you, uh, do you want to fade this Bowling Green team? Of course not. They won outright against Toledo plus 465 on the money line. That's super fun. Uh, quarterback Matt McDonald for Bowling Green. He's been playing really well. They're just a fun team. And this is what makes action so exciting. Uh, if they win this and Buffalo loses, they could be right in the mix there, uh, representing the Mac in the East. Bowling Green has also 
have been very good on the road, three and zero. Oh. And the the biggest part to me is the quarterback for Ohio, uh, Curtis Rourke. He left the game with a knee injury. We haven't gotten the latest update as to whether or not he's playing. So I think if, one, you could be seeing the backup here for Ohio, which you love the plus seven there, or two, Curtis Rourke tries to play through a knee injury that clearly hampered him. And yeah, you get a, a non hundred percent Curtis Rourke. I think that is a huge advantage for Bowling Green. So to recap Bowling Green plus seven, the Lakers or no, sorry. I'm fading the Lakers Phoenix minus seven as well. And then Australia versus France under two and a half goals scored as always betmgm.com promo code juice follow us on TikTok at betting pros. Follow me on Twitter at Sean T green, almost hitting that 10 K range. So uh, if you're the 10,000 follower and your daily juice listener, DM me, hit me up, we'll figure out how to get you a sweet prize. And of course, check out my other show, the sports gambling podcast. You guys know what to do. Subscribe, rate and review. And as always, don't forget to let it ride.